Hey guys, this is Justin. I'm just uh, here. I'm new to YouTube, but uh, this seems to be a problem that a lot of people are having and the only solutions out there are pretty complicated. So right now, uh, most of what you'll read in forums is saying that you need to get a special drive and flash it in order to be able to copy 4K discs, and that is no longer true. So you see here with the Pioneer uh, BD drive, uh, you can see the model number here. There's a link to it below in uh, the description. If you uh, use this drive, it will automatically, with uh, the new MKV updates, as long as you are connected to the internet, will be able to auto-enable the Libra drive and get you access to these with the proper codex. No more copying and pasting, no flashing of drives. You can see this disk loaded automatically version 76 and is going to allow me to open that disk. But it is important that you are uh, enabled your internet access in order for this to work properly. So if that's all you're looking for, just click the link below and you can just buy the drive, no flashing, nothing required. The rest of the video is going to be a proof of this. So this is uh, going to be opening this drive to look at the disk. For those of you who are new to MKV, you just click on the disk symbol and you'll see that this is loading appropriately and you'll see all the appropriate titles. If you're new to MKV, you can see that there's a lot of different choices that all have the disc track as well as the audio track. And so sometimes it can be confusing as to which one you use. So really what you're going to look is the source name um, and it will have different source names. So you can either assume that usually the lowest source name is the correct one. Um, this works most of the time but uh, the segment maps are also going to be helpful because sometimes the bot version versus the red box version uh, is going to be different. So you can see I've selected here for this one to be version 4. It still looks like it's appropriate but we don't really know. So what you can do is if you just open YouTube, or excuse me, uh, an internet browser, you can search Make MKV with the title of whatever it is that you're looking for, in this case, The Eternals. And you can search that, and usually somewhere in the M Make MKV forum, you're going to see that information. So you can see here you've got the file name as well as the segment map. So if you go back to Make MKV, you'll see the different versions. We'll find the one that's the same, which is going to be the same segment map with the 8000. We'll select it. You can edit any of these that you want, cut out subtitles that you don't need. It just makes processing down the roads easier and gives you smaller file sizes. So you click Make MKV after you pick a place to edit it to and begin saving. And so this you can see is analyzing the segment maps and it's starting to initialize the saving of the file. And uh, you can see that there's no errors here and that it's initializing correctly. Of note, you will also find that there are two different versions of this drive, one of which is a front loading and one of which is a top loading. Now, there should be no difference between these two drives from everything that I have researched from Pioneer, as long as they're using the same firmware version from 2020. If it has a newer firmware version, they may have changed some things, but as long as it is the 2020 version of the firmware from Pioneer, it should auto-initialize with Make MKV and the updates that they have done. As a uh, disclaimer, I do not support copyright infringement, so I personally own this disc and any files that were made from this video have subsequently been deleted uh, and any digital content that I have is only for personal viewing. So to speed this up here we're going to accelerate 
our process and you can see in real time backgrounds elapsing on the Mac and we are saving the file there's no read errors and it's progressing sequentially now you can see here we have successfully created our file which we will look at and it shows that it is the expected 54 gigabytes and if we open that with VLC player which is pretty compatible with everything it will load now to make the mouse house not angry these are just short little segments to show you that the video itself is in fact intact without infringing on their copyright the audio is muted uh, for the voiceover, but all audio is intact as well as subtitles. Uh, I've yet to run across any problems. I've done over 12 different discs from different manufacturers with no complications that I have yet to come across with this drive. So it's pretty, pretty plug and play for those of us who are not quite so tech savvy. Um, but that's pretty much all I have. So I just wanted to uh, get this out there so that people could uh, start doing this without having to worry about flashing.